I know that there's a lot of people in my audience who hate using traditional dating apps because there's so many uh, libs on these apps and they just want to find someone who's a Christian, who's a conservative. I know I speak for a lot of you watching right now. Um, but thankfully, there's a solution, a new right-wing dating app. So let's listen. Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I've got to tell you about something I am so excited to announce. A dating app for all of us conservatives. It's called The Right Stuff, and it's launching this September. What I love most about it is that it's invite only, so not just anyone can join. First of all, it's free to use. And for my ladies, you'll never have to pay because we all get premium subscriptions for simply inviting a couple friends. Gentlemen, if you want access to premium, that's on you. And by the way, those are the only two options, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Right Stuff is all about getting into the right dating pool with people who share the same values and beliefs as you. You'll start off by building your perfect profile. No pronouns necessary. Oh, thank God. If they were going to make me put pronouns in my bio, then I would just not be happy with that. So thank God everyone is gender neutral. And by the way, women are free because they would never sign up because the people who would be on this profile would be uh, folks like this individual. Like this would be the profile pic. Arnie, 65, Arkansas. America first. I'm looking for a woman in her early 20s who's fit, who's willing to be in the kitchen to cook. Like, I, I would love to just browse some of these profiles to just see the requests or rather the demands, right? Because you know it's going to be unhinged. Word, which includes your favorite photos of yourself doing what you love or being with the people you love. <laughs> Our prompts give you... I love how there's a picture of Donald Trump in her profile picture. It's going to be like a huge pissing contest to see like who's the biggest Trump dick rider. I have two pictures with Trump. I have three pictures with Trump. I have a picture with Trump with a flag rolled up stuck in my ass while I'm sucking off a police officer. Like that's the kind of content that I expect to see from this or being with the people you love. Our prompts give you the opportunity to let people know various sides of you. So remember, be authentic and creative. We're sorry that you've had to endure years of bad dates and wasted time with people that don't see the world our way, the right way. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com It doesn't say whites only, but yeah. Big news, Kaylee McEnany's sister, Ry I didn't know this was Ryan McEnany. I had no idea. I should have looked at the original tweet. So it's called The Right Stuff. Okay. I'm a married man, but I'm signing up. The real question is, do they have the option to be gay on there? That'd be pretty progressive. In fact, dare I say, that would be woke. I found the website. Okay. So it's joinrightstuff.com. Um... Is there anything? Okay. Sign up for early access. Okay. Discover other conservatives. I'm sorry, but this looks like a libtard cuck, does he not? This looks like a beta male. Um, he's an infiltrator. Peter. Getting back to normal. This looks like a conservative. It actually looks like a crypto fascist. Um, less talking, more dating. Have a fun date idea? Post it and see who's interested. What if we... Oh, I'm, I'm going to get into trouble if I start talking. <laughs> I'm not even going to say what was on my mind. I'm just going to keep scrolling. Invite only. Oh, my God. Find the right match. If you're single and not on this app, you ain't conservative. Ain't isn't a word. You know what? Oh, so it's an early access. Folks, I'm going to sign up. Give me a second here. Should I use my Futbucker69 email? Because I feel like they're going to assume it's a troll. Okay, folks, bear with me. I'm going to sign up here. What name should I use? Like, I instinctively want to say Futbucker, but they're going to know it's it's a troll. It has to be something completely innocuous. Like Brad. Um, What's a good last name, folks? We're going to do this live. Brad. What's a good last name? Are there like conservative sounding last names? Um, Jacobson. Maybe I'll do it with an E-N, a little bit more original. Um, okay. Zip code, 90210. That's uh, 
the only zip code that I know uh, from a show. So Beverly Hills. Maybe there's some conservatives in the Beverly Hills area. Oh, Thorpe is a really good last name. Oh, that's good. Uh, 30, 31 Wombats. That's a good one. I'm going to do Thorpe. Brad Thorpe. That definitely sounds like a conservative name. Okay, email address. Um, before I use my Futbucker email, I feel like I should check if I'm locked out. Maybe I'm just going to use my humanist report email, okay? But there's the risk that they go to the humanist report website. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to use humanist report because if I use my like alt email, then they're going to send me like Republican spam. And I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to, here we go. I'll do that. 